Hello, today I'm showing you a problem I had with my iMac. My iMac is a 2008, uh, late 2008 iMac, 24 inch. And the problem I was experiencing was that my iMac, when connecting a FireWire 400 external drive, it, uh, it induced a kernel panic, and the entire FireWire controller board became unresponsive, meaning that neither, neither my FireWire 800 port or 400 port would work at all. And when going into the, um, the about this Mac, the system profiler, the uh, it would uh, it would show that I didn't even ha have a FireWire controller board installed in the computer. It said it unable to list uh, FireWire devices when before it would list the controller board and all the devices I had uh, connected at the time. I researched this problem a little bit on the internet and found that you could either reset the SMC, I believe that was the name of it, or you could try turning your computer off for more than 12 hours with everything disconnected and including the power. And so I tried that, uh, unplugged everything, and that was last night, left it for about 13 hours, plugged everything back in, actually I didn't plug everything back in, I plugged it in one by one. I first plugged the power in, turned the computer on then plugged in my FireWire 800 drive, which I know works because it's worked on other Macs, and what do you know, that drive pops up and works like it always did. Plugged in my USBs and my sound, those all worked, and right when I plugged in my FireWire 400 drive, the FireWire controller board became unresponsive like I was saying before. If your iMac also has this problem, there is a couple things you could do. You could either try unplugging all of your uh, everything connected to your iMac, including the power, leave it for about 13 hours, as I was saying before, um, plug everything in one by one, and figure out what's actually causing the kernel panic. And once you have that figured out and you know what is causing it, there's um, you can search up how to reset the FireWire controller board. Uh, there's there's ones you can do like you can uh, turn off the computer, unplug the power leave that for about five seconds, uh, hold down the power button for another I believe 12 seconds, plug the power back in and turn the computer back on and that was uh, that was some kind of reset. It, I don't believe those are the exact, exact instructions but it's a real quick Google search to uh, figure out how to do it and that might work for you and it might not work. In my case it did not work and I'm still stuck with having a unresponsive FireWire 400 port. 